Hey everyone, welcome back to Men's Essentials. I found out that Manscaped makes a safety razor. They call it the Plow 2.0. Now, I have been shaving with a safety razor for about five years, um, and I've used the Edwin Jagger DE89 LBL. I like it a lot, but I've also wanted to try uh, a razor with a knurled handle. So when I saw that Manscaped makes this Plow razor with a knurled handle, I wanted to test it out. And I'm gonna give you some reasons why I think this razor is pretty amazing. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is how beautiful this razor is. Um, also, the word clean is what I'll, the word I'll be using to describe it throughout the video a lot. And that's just because it's the wet, best word I can think of to describe it. Um, there are no rough edges and it just seems to flow from one part of the razor to the next. Um, it's a gunmetal gray. And that knurled handle that I was talking about, it blends in well with the rest of the razor. Um, and the word manscaped is etched into the top of the razor in a really attractive font. Normally, I do not like um, products with the brand name on them like that directly. Um, but this etched manscaped brand actually looks really clean. And I feel that it doesn't take away from the beauty of this razor. That's right, guys. I think this razor is beautiful. Um, now, before I go into more info on the razor, I just want to remind you that on this channel, I make some videos about sunglasses, watches, men's grooming products like this razor, um, just anything that I like to call a men's essential or men's accessories. If that's something you're interested in, please like and subscribe, guys, okay? Thank you. Um, the next thing I want to mention about this razor that I think is really good is the weight. Whenever you're buying a safety razor, you want to you want to be looking for something that has heft and weight. Uh, this razor definitely has heft. Um, the reason for that is that you want to let the razor do the work for you when you're shaving. You don't want to apply too much pressure from your hand and wrist because you could cut yourself. Um, this razor will definitely help you shave correctly and just do it smoother. I've shaved with it a few times and it really glides across my skin without much effort. Um, and the blades that came with it guys are actually really good too. They're doing a really good job. They're performing well. Um, now my favorite blade at the moment are feather blades, Japanese feather blades. I normally use those and these are not as good as those, but they're doing really close. They're getting really close to the, the performance that those do. So the blades themselves are yeah, doing a great job. Um, so another another good aspect about that. Um, and to be honest with you, one th negative thing I can think about on this razor, and this is just a personal preference for me, is that the handle's a little bit too long. Just for me personally, I wish it was shorter. Um, this is probably because I've gotten accustomed to the length of the handle on the Edwin Jagger that I normally use. Uh, I think that the shorter handle just helps me have more control when I'm shaving. It just feels like I can feel, um, I can just feel the handle on my fingers and it just gives me better control. Um, the longer handle makes me want to like reach down towards the bottom and hold it there while shaving, which is actually not a good thing. For me personally, I hold it, you know, I put my fingers up, up higher on the handle to feel more control on my skin. Again, that's just a personal preference for me. This might not be a big deal for you guys. So that's just my personal thing there. Now, this is a three piece razor, guys. Um, to take it apart, you just twist the head and the handle in opposite directions in order for the head to detach. And that's how my Edwin Jagger razor is too. So I was already accustomed to that. But overall, this razor um it's amazing quite honestly i'm really happy that i bought it if it had a shorter handle it'd probably be a perfect 10 out of 10 razor for me um it's still a high really high quality razor that provides a really good shave for me um so i would give this razor a 9 out of 10 it's super clean and beautiful just that handle um took a point away for me if you're a beginner in the world of wet shaving go ahead and try this one out uh, the blades, again, are amazing. It's always good for you to try different blades, in my opinion. I made a video giving you guys some recommendations on blades that I use. Go to my channel page if you want to see that video and see what other blades I recommend. 
Um, I'm actually, and again, guys, I'm really pleasantly surprised by this uh, Manscaped Razor. It's not what I expected. I was expecting something lower quality. Um, but props to Manscaped for this product, guys. Seriously, it's it's pretty good. It's really, really good, actually. Um, I'm going to put this razor through its paces and really test it out for the next year. I hope it passes the test of time and constant use. Um, but on the first few shaves I've had with it, it's definitely won me over. Again, guys, I really appreciate um, that you stopped by Men's Essentials. Please leave some comments about this razor. Let me know what you think, if you've tried it before, or just whatever your opinion is, or whatever other recommendations you guys have, please let me know. I always love hearing your feedback in the comments. Anyway, guys, thank you for stopping by. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day. I'll catch you next time.